Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone had a safe and happy New Year's. Now with New Year's comes new goals. One of my new goals this year is to grow this channel. So I'm setting a goal of a thousand new subscribers. But I'm gonna need your help to reach that goal. So if you like what I'm doing here, please hit the like and subscribe button, share it with your friends and help grow this channel. So today, I'm gonna to start working on this four link again. I've already removed one four link bar. I started, uh, I made this jig. I drilled and tapped some holes for some alignment pins and started cleaning up the bars, drilled some holes for some rosette welds. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld up this bar and do the same to the remaining three. Got the four link bars all welded up and installed. Now I'm gonna move on to working on the wishbone. I'm gonna first make a pinion support that will tie into this top support bar. And this will give me an area for a mounting spot for the wishbone. Sorry if there's any background noise. It's pretty windy up here today. But I just got this rear end all leveled out. I don't have any adjustments in the four link bars yet to set the instant center. But I did get the rear end itself centered into the chassis. The way I did that was I clamped on a straight edge to the hub and then measured it from this four link bracket. I did that on both sides until that, me or that measurement was equal. Now that that's set, I'm gonna go ahead and tack in the tabs for this upper wishbone mount. Um, once that's set, I'll be able to take some measurements because I want the, the measurements to be the same as the, the four link bars and uh, also leveled with them. That way, when the rear end itself is going through its motion, there's not much change between the upper wishbone and the four link bars. Even though that this wishbone is a telescoping one, I want the least amount of movement as possible.
Got the wishbone all welded up. Currently I have it set in place to where I want it. It's uh, parallel with the four link bars. And I have it centered using a laser level. I'm going to go ahead and trim back a little bit of the tube to make some room for the heim joints. And then I'll start making some templates for the mounts, cut them out and weld them up. Well, minus the sway bar and the rear coilovers, this rear suspension is pretty much complete. Really happy with the way the wishbone mounts turned out. And the wishbone itself is a kit that I bought from Tim McCain's. It's an unwelded chromoly kit. That way I could cut it to the size I need, notch it and weld it myself. But I'm going to call it a day. Really appreciate you guys checking out this video. And I'll see you next time.